the first topic is a beautiful topic today beautiful, beautiful. by none other than our guy piff marty now how many times did you post a piece of content and promote your song in that content how many times right because i know sometimes y'all say yo i'm I, I don't know how many times i should post i've been posting too much well we have a great first-hand experience to share with y'all from piff marty and we have some other case studies for y'all check mm -hmm. this out repost your videos i cannot stress that enough it will literally change your life a lot of y'all know me for this video look it's okay to be vulnerable because you owe it to you that went viral in 2021 but i posted that video three times before that happened first time i posted on instagram it capped at like 15,000 views but i'm like nah that's not enough this is mad important let me put it on tiktok put it on tiktok it got like 90,000 views i'm like all right bet cool now people are recognizing it but something told me, nah, post it again. 4.5 million views on TikTok, 6 million views on Instagram, completely changed my life. If you believe that you sitting on gold, keep promoting it, keep posting it. Sometimes it's the algorithm. Sometimes it's just the, the way culture is set up at the time that you post it. There's so many factors that go into why a video doesn't do well. But if you know that that video is fire, post it again. If I didn't post that video again, I would not be here. Great mm. advice, great advice. Great advice, great advice. Now, before we even get into like deep diving or adding any additional perspective, let's just go to our examples. All right now, our client, Simone Talese. All right, you remember there's a beautiful example of this, and we covered it on the agency page. Right now, let's just read it headline to headline. This artist changed one thing and blew up her TikTok. Right. This past month, Simone Talese started promoting her song Intentions by dropping TikToks based around her music video. After gathering thousands of views, she decided to change one detail that became vital to her blowing up on TikTok. Can you guess what it could be? Now, if you look at this post, right, this is her video. POV, you just found your favorite underground R&B artist. And that got about a thousand views. She changed that headline. And she changed it to, did she just create the crazy bitch anthem of the summer? Did she? And did 672,000 views. Big difference. Yeah. Big difference. Now, because we were there for this, I'm going to say, look, we see this 672,000 views, but she actually did more variations than just these two. Yeah, bro. Right? Yeah, she posted like at least somewhere between like 40 and 50 times. Before ridiculous, it was, it was maybe ten times before that one clicked, and then she posted like twenty more times after, and then she probably posted like twenty more times before. So and now, then it went viral and, in some other ways. Yeah, like she had a couple minutely viral moments. This was the biggest one, but yeah. I mean, she had other ones that maybe hit like twenty, thirty k. You know, what I'm saying fifty k. You know, like an eight k, five k here or there. And I actually think she's still using that clip. Like I think every now and again she'll like throw it back mm -hmm. out there with a with a different headline on it, just to kind of fish yes. up. You know, see what happens. That's the beautiful thing about this, man. Yeah. Like. I think people get so caught up thinking like, yo, should I post this again? Are people going to get tired of, of seeing this song or whatever it is? But if you've only gotten a thousand views, you know, people ain't really seen it like that yet. Yeah, exactly, right? bro. And like Piff said, if you believe in this, then keep pushing, keep pushing. Ten times before she got to this headline. She continued to experiment with the headline and she also used this one. When she found out this worked, she mm -hmm. posted this exact clip. A couple more times. Yeah. I remember seeing that. But she also said, yo, shoot, if a one headline change can make that big of a difference, then maybe I should go crazy and figure out another headline yeah. and see if we can get something bigger. But literally, we're talking about 1,000 to 672,000 views. Now, another honorable mention, Gibson. Now, you don't know Gibson. Gibson hit me up in um, like the DMs. But he saw that post, right? And when he saw that post, he went and did the exact same thing. Okay. Right. He just went and changed his headline. Now I'm going to read off the growth that he saw between different headlines and formats. This video that I'm playing right now did 394 views. You see it has 33 likes. Now he switched it up and did 28 K views. He switched it up again and did nine K views, switched it up again and did 63,000 views. Okay. Then he did 70,000 views and then he did 63,000 views again. But again, this might not be hundreds of thousands. However, when you talk about he only got 394 on that first one. Yeah. Right. And now he's gotten 
that tens of thousands of views just changing the format a little bit because he didn't really change well no he did add a headline let's go to the current version the current highest version <laughs> no that actually isn't the highest version i don't think no, it might be, but this one did very well. Obviously, you throw the Gunner situation in there, <laughs> yeah. the Young Thug, the which, Charleston White. Charleston White. <laughs> this is this is actually really beautiful because it ties in to what what Piff Marty said. Culture, culture, yep. exactly. Things change up a little bit. Now a moment happens where your song is relevant. The name of this song is like snitching or no snitching, by the way, and like he okay. marketed it as like a snitching anthem or something, whatever. So now you have a moment in culture where, oh, did Gunner snitch on Thug? Charleston White, like you, like you said, obviously he had all these snitch videos. That makes a big difference. So maybe culture isn't ready for your song. Hopefully yeah. culture didn't pass. But even if something passed, there's probably another, another moment that'll come, let alone the algorithm and other different nuances. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply, it's completely free, but the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. So, man, how many times should you repost? Should you repost if your song is that song? You really feel like this is one and it didn't really do what you thought. It might not be over. Like, yeah. for real. Yeah. Post again. Yeah, and the, the culture one is interesting too because that's such a hard thing to quantify, and yes. it's, it's such a hard thing to get clients to understand. Because yeah. I don't know if you remember, we had this one campaign like two years ago, um, and it was a not exactly this, but it was an influencer campaign. You know, influencer campaigns were testing out different headlines, we're using the same clip, mm -hmm. and I remember we had the the, the guy. He had a line. The song was like something about like I eat with rats before I hang with more snakes or some shit. Yeah. And when the line came out, it was when the world was crucifying six nine for the whole snitch thing. Yes, right, right? bro. Exactly. I know exactly yeah. who you're talking about. And yeah. I remember that moment. Yeah. yeah. And that shit went viral because everybody assumed he was talking about six nine, and, and he then wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't <laughs> right. And then the artist text who on the move on it. Maybe like two weeks later, he's like, oh, I got the budget to keep it going, and we use that, that same headline. But in that two weeks. Six nine kind of started going his apology tour, right? He started doing yep. some antics to win people back over, and the cultural landscape has shifted now. Whereas, like the last post, there were thousands of people like agreeing with him and fucking with him for, you know, what I'm saying, dissing six nine. Yeah, the ties completely changed, and everyone in the comments like, "Oh, this nigga just hating," you know, what I'm saying, blah blah. He wish he could be <laughs> six nine. And it was like it was so interesting to see. It was like, man, bro, yeah, just in, just in the two week time span, everyone's opinion on the whole situation just flipped, yep. and it's having this negative impact on the, the campaign and I've even talked to artists in like our, our boot camp before where you know some would come in and say things like hey you know you guys use this I don't know cover challenge as an example but it's not working for me mm. and then I was like well yeah when we made that you know TikTok love covers and then you came in at a time where they're sick of it not saying like necessarily now they're sick of it yeah. but like cultural interests change right and like it's very yes. possible that you see something you hop on it and by the time you put it out, we're tired of it as consumer base, and then vice versa. You see something, put it out, and it hits right as we're starting to care about it, right? And then you kind of like latch on to the moment. So I right. like that he mentioned culture because that's I all. That, that's bro. always the hardest one to quantify. It is that perfect example. Also, on what you said was twenty twenty, everybody was dancing on TikTok. Yep. Boop. Twenty twenty one and beyond. Yeah, eh, we tired of that. Yeah, exactly. But no more dances unless that no shit really dance. gonna hit or the song really gonna hit. Right. Yeah, right. and and also the the thing I always always argue with artists about with the reposting thing is one you spend all this time and effort into it to post it once and to get like a hundred views right mm -hmm. a couple hundred views when in reality you have nothing to lose by trying to get it to do better there are, there are some platforms right like an instagram or youtube yep. where 
the the worry of reposting something I think is legit because the platform typically is like a one take platform, right? But if you're creative enough, you can you can rework it in different ways to get it back out there. But something like TikTok specifically, bro, nobody cares because most of your people are probably coming from the For You page. Mm -hmm. So these are people that are just seeing you for the very first time. They don't even know that you posted this clip 20 times over until they go to your page. And you won at that point because you interested them enough to to get them to even care to go check it out, right? So it's like you really have nothing to lose. You put six hours into a piece of content to post it once and get 100 views. You know what I'm saying? Like crazy, bro. When it's like, hey, like Simone, hey, man, I spent all this time, energy, on this music video, I don't know how much money she spent, but you know, let's, let's say let's say three thousand dollars, right? Yeah. And so it's like, man, I could have posted three clips from this music video, you know what I'm saying? And you know, that been the worth there. But I posted this shit hella times and got a bigger return on my investment than I would have initially gotten with my original strategy, right? And that to me makes so much sense for artists, a majority of artists that aren't like popping, right? It's like right. maybe a big artist couldn't get away with this. But everyone below like a six could 100% get away with so, this. So 